We want our people to change. We want our people to change, all right? So this pastor, he can get the kingdom of God if he repents and teaches God's commandments. The people in there can get the kingdom of God if they repent and keep God's commandments, all right? All the brothers and sisters, the dope dealers on the block can get the kingdom of God. But you know what they got to do? They got to stop selling death to their own people, right. all right? Repent, and then they can get the kingdom of God. All right, I'm Officer Caillou with Israel United in Christ, and we've come out here to teach the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans who we are according to the Bible. All right, we are the Israelites. All right, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans scattered throughout the whole earth. God calls you the Israelites in his holy Bible. All right, read what you got. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. But we know that the law is good. So the Bible says that the law is good. All right. The law is good. My brother, the Bible says that the law is good. But you know what the problem is? These churches, all right, it's one right here. It's another one behind you. It's probably four that you can see from where you're standing right now. The problem is that these churches, they don't teach that the laws are good. Right. They don't teach that. The churches don't teach that the laws are good. All right. I'm sure my brother right here has been to many churches throughout his lifetime, all right? And I'm sure what you've learned is that in these churches, my brother, what's your name? What's your name? Lee. Lee, Lee, we, we don't, don't go nowhere. We, we here for you, we here for our people. We've come to suffer to teach our people. Hey, let me ask you a question. Why do you think that there's police security required to enter into this building? You tell me. I think it's because, I, hey, I, ho I wish you park and come get out and talk to me. I think it's because there's a lot of crime that happens in this neighborhood. Right. I bet, I bet, believe, I, I bet you can believe that there's a lot of crime that happens in this neighborhood. You understand? So as a as a a, a, a resolve for the people, uh, for harm to come to them, the people will hire security. Right. You understand? That's why security is outside of many of these buildings, not just the church. All right? Because it's a lot of crime that happens here. But you know what would stop crime from happening in Suffolk? It's written in the Bible. There's a solution. What do you think it is, Lee? What do you think it is? Read it again from the top. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. So you think a, a good law will help the brothers and sisters in Suffolk? today? You think a good law will help? This, listen to what the law will fix. Read on. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Because not all of us even know how to be righteous. We didn't grow up learning how to be righteous. Right? We don't know what righteousness is according to the Bible. Come on. But for the lawless. For, for who? The lawless. So, my brother, who is the law for according to the Bible? The law. It's going to tell you. Who's it for? Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless. The law is made for the lawless. Those are people that don't know the law. Right. You understand? That's who this Bible is for. Our brothers and sisters don't know the law today. We don't know the law today. You understand? My brother right here, these your daughters. You know one of the highest crimes committed in today's time? is stealing little girls and selling them on the black market? Did you know that? That's good. All praises to the Most High. We need more fathers just like you right. in Suffolk, Virginia. We need more fathers just like you. I don't let these out my eyesight. That's good. We need more fathers that don't let their daughters out of their eyesight. Because you know what happens when you let your daughter out your eyesight, right? They disappear. they disappear. You know what else? They start to do things, right? that you wouldn't approve of, that you wouldn't allow, right? If you was around, they wouldn't behave themselves that way, right? 
they know they can get away with it if daddy's not looking. You understand? That, that's how women are today. That's why you got to keep a sure watch over your, uh, over your daughters. All right? Man, so, right good. that's very good. Very good. Now, I'm going I'm to I'm show you something in the Bible that maybe you didn't know. All right? Maybe you didn't know. Read on. And disobedient. Come on. For the ungodly and for sinners. For who? For ungodly and for sinners. Now, Lee, according to the Bible, what is sin? What is sin according to the Bible? He says Satan. Okay. That's the Satan is is a is a is a, a demonic angel. Alright? It's a it's that's a spirit that's created to cause all these people to commit sin. So what I want to know is what sin is. What sin? No, that what, what scripture says sin is cussing. Which one? All of them. Which what scripture says that? All right, so this is what I mean. Many of us, what we do is we grow up in these buildings. And we grow up in these buildings year after year, generation after generation, and we're not taught the Bible. we really not taught the Bible. That's why we don't know what sin is according to the Bible. Now, I'm asking my brother with the buffalo head on. What's sin? All right, but what is it? What is sin? Everything. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I want y'all to listen good. If you don't learn anything today, you're going to learn what sin is so that you can avoid it. All right? First John chapter 3 verse 4. Read what you got. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Y'all sisters need to listen good. All right? Listen good. Come on. Whosoever committed sin, whosoever commits sin, come on, transgresseth also the law. He transgresses the law. Now I want you to listen real good to what it's about to say. Come on. For sin is the transgression of the law. So what sin? What sin? The transgression of the law. That's what sin is. Did you hear that, Lee? What sin? What is sin? The transgression of the law. So your next question should be what? With the buffalo hat on. Now that you know sin is the transgression of the law, what should your next question be? What is the transgression? What's the law? That should be the next question. I'm going to show you one. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. All right? These are, these are laws that we must know to clean our community up. All right? To clean our community up. Because marriages in the black community, are they lasting a long time? Man, I, I, You're not alone. You're not alone. You understand? Marriages. I'm going to ask Lee. Marriages in the black community, are they lasting a long time? What if they grow up in this building right here, though? What about the marriages that grow up in church? Are they lasting a long time? No, they're not. There's no difference. There's they... no difference between the marriages of people that grow up in these buildings and the marriages of people that selling drugs on the block. Right. It's no difference. Right. Say it again. That's what it's saying that right there. No. That's, that's why we come out here to show all the people that's, that's in droves going into this building to commit sin, to go home, to teach sin, to go home, to eat sin. Whole life consists of cesspool of sin. All right. And this pastor in here does not teach our people the truth. And he's not alone. All these pastors out here ain't teaching our people the truth. You know what? You know how I know that? Because if they were teaching the truth. You would have known what? What sin was. You would have known that. You would have known what sin was. They, they in there doing what? Messing with them. Messing with them. Yeah, yes, yes, they are. You know, and the and the uh, choir director too. All right, all that's going on in there. All right, but we're gonna read to you a law. I want you to listen good, cause the pastor in there is not teaching this to the woman. Hey, all right, I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna show you this. The pastor in there is not teaching this to the woman. Read what you got. Through the road. Hey, look, we ain't here to condemn either. Don't get it twisted. All right, cause you know why? No, uh -uh. repentance is open for everybody. We want our people to change. We want our people to change, all right? So this pastor, he can get the kingdom of God if he repents and teaches God's commandments. The people in there can get the kingdom of God if they repent and keep God's commandments, right. all right? All the brothers and sisters, the dope dealers on the block can get the kingdom of God. But you know what they got to do? They got to stop selling death to their own people, right. all right? Repent and then they can get the kingdom of God. So we're going to read to you a law. One that you didn't know. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Lee, did you hear that? Did you hear what the Bible just said? Read it again. The woman. We talking about who, Lee? The woman. The woman. So this law pertains to who? 
The woman in this Bible, there's laws for women and there's laws for men. Come on. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now the question is, what type of clothes do women wear today that pertain to men? Which one? I don't know. Let me ask you a question. Yo, no. I, we, let's, no, hold on. Let's let me hold on. First, no. And then we gonna answer your question. Why you can't ask, look? Why you ask the questions? Let me ask questions. Can I answer the question that I just asked first, and then you ask yours, and then I answer that one? All right. I, well, all right. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My brother, right here, the buffalo hat. Hey, my brother, right there with the yeah. Hey, what type of clothes do women wear today that pertain to men? Pants. Pants. You see that? When you think about it long enough, and you think about it long enough, you go, it's going, oh, he, it's, he talking about pants. He talking about pants. You understand? Women not supposed to wear pants. But our young sisters don't know that. They don't know that. You understand? All right, all right, all right, all right. Ask your question. What is this pertaining to going on out here that's going on in there? What's the difference? The difference for what we're doing? Yeah, and the difference in there. We keep the commandments. Right. You understand? We keep the commandments. That's the difference. You understand? And when we fall short, we ask for repentance. You know what that repentance looks like? That repentance looks like you changing and not going back to that sin over and over and over again. You understand? You got to make progress. All right? In there, you know what they say? Come as you are. Stay as you are. That's not what we teach. Give me Psalm chapter 19 verse 7. God will not accept you as you are. That's the difference between what we teach and what they teach. All right? Read what you got. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. What? The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So the laws of God is supposed to change you into a new man. That's the difference from what we teach and what they teach. I'm going to show you something else. Psalm chapter 5, verse 5. All right? There's many differences from what we teach and what they teach. The main difference is we teach God's laws. We keep God's laws. You understand? We enforce God's laws. We use God's laws to judge our communities. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 5 verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Now you tell me if they teach this inside that building. Come on. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. I thought God ain't hate nobody. I thought God ain't hate nobody. What did the Bible say? Thou hatest. All workers of iniquity. Did you hear that? They're not teaching you that in there. You know what they say? God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. Ain't, ain't that what they say in this building? Right. We don't teach that. Yeah. There's many differences of what we teach. I'm going to show you something else. Leviticus chapter 11, all right? I want you to read verse, I want you to read verse 9. Hey, look right here, look right here. What they sell right here? What they sell right there? Hey, I, 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 what did they sell right across from, from that building right there? What did they sell right there out of there? Right here, right the barn. What do they sell right there? They sell crabs. Listen to what the Bible says. Listen to what the Bible says. What's the main difference from what we teach and what they teach? They don't teach the Bible. No. When the last time you see them come out here and tell these people they got to shut their business down according to the Bible? When you see them do that? I'm going to show. That's a very good question. I'm going to show you. Listen, come on. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Hold on, wait for the answer. We about to read it for you. This is why you must eat crabs. You eat crabs. No. You eat crabs? No, Don't lie, man. Do you eat crabs? No. I was brought up in a building like that. Did they eat crabs in that building that you was brought up in? I don't got to do what they eat. Yeah, yes, you do, because we have to be accountable for not only ourselves, but for all the people we love. Right. You understand? So it does matter what they're doing. They're, that's your family. That's your community. We got to take that mindset out of our mind where I'm just going to think about me and mine. Now I got to think about me, mine, and all the rest of my people. That's what I got to do. That's how we're going to change the ghetto. You understand? Do you like living out here? You like living in, in the ghetto in the bottom? You like being in a, a, a home where the, the man and the wife are always arguing and the children got to witness that? You like that? That's the type of life you like? We're not supposed to be living like that, bro. We like, all, all right, you may not be in the ghetto, you understand? But I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I live in the hood. You understand? I live in the hood. That's where I stay. You understand? But I'm talking to you and, the, and your upbringing. You understand? You told me that you came from a family that's broken. We shouldn't be comfortable in broken homes, bro. Right. And it starts with keeping God's laws. Why you got to be offended, bro? We're just trying to teach you how to do better. I would hate you if I let you continue in your evil. I would hate you for that, according to the Bible. If you want that, you got to go back to the Christian church. The Christian church will let you stay how you are. You understand? But you ask what's the main difference between us 
in a Christian church, the difference is we correct each other. We teach God's laws. Come on. Verse 12. Whatsoever hath no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. That shall be what? An abomination unto you. That shall be what? An abomination unto you. Give me verse 9. Verse 9. These shall ye eat. In the waters, this is what's clean to eat. Come on. Of all that are in the waters, whatsoever had fins. It got to have fins. Come on. And scales. And it has to have scales. Come on. In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. That's everything that you can eat in the waters. Must have fins and scales. All right. But it's a crab shack. Shut up. Right across the street. You understand? Crabs don't have fins. My brother, you eat crabs? Be honest. You eat crabs? Crabs don't have fins. Crabs don't have scales. So we're not supposed to eat that. What about catfish? You eat catfish? You don't eat see? What about uh, pork chops? You eat those? All right. All right. So you got a clean diet then. You got, oh, I don't know. You might, I don't know. You got a cross, so that cross teaches you to eat all those abominations. Right. That cross teaches you to eat all those abominations. You know that. Hey, let me ask you a question. What color is Christ? What color is Christ? He's black. What color is the Christ on your the cross on the Christ on your cross? Say it again? Yeah, but what color is the Christ on your cross? Oh, it's just a cross. Okay, so that cross that you that did you have on your neck, does it teach you? Let me ask, come here, bro. Let's I ain't gotta talk across, bro. Come on, come come here, build with me. I, let me let me build with you, bro. You got a cross on so that tell me that you love God, right? You supposed to love God. You tell me you got young men out here trying to talk about the Bible. You gonna walk around with a cross on and say I'll talk to y'all later? Come on, bro. Come on, what I thought the I thought the cross was was supposed to be your faith. I thought it was supposed to be symbolic of what you believe. You understand? Give me Mark chapter 6. No, Mark chapter 7, verse 6. All right, Mark chapter 7, verse 6. Because this is the problem in our community. We wear the cross. My brother, we wear the cross. All right? We even get the tattoos of the cross. All right? We do all of these things to show that we're a holy, religious people. All right? But this is what's really going on. Read what you got. Mark chapter 7, verse 6. He answered and said unto them, well, hath these science prophesied of you hypocrites. Of you what? Hypocrites. Come on. As it is written, this people honoreth me with their lips. They honor me with their lips. What do they say? I'm a Christian. This is what our people say. I'm a Christian. I have the cross on because it's symbolic of my faith. That's what they say. You understand? But when you follow how they walk, it doesn't match up with the things that come out of their mouth. Come on. But their heart is far from me. But their what? Their heart is far from me. The heart is your mind according to the Bible. Your mind is far from God. Even though you're walking around with a cross on, all right, your mind is far from God. How do I know that? Because you eat crab, shrimp, lobster. You eat catfish. You go to church on Sunday. Right. You celebrate your birthday. You understand? You have sex with women without marrying them. You understand? Your baby mama will carry before she marries. That's crazy. The Bible does not teach that. All right? The Bible does not teach that. But we say we love God. No, we don't love God. We hate God. If we love God, we will be keeping his commandments just like the Bible says. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Family.